you have all just arrived in Dead Horse, Alaska. Looks like uh, we you beat just... up the Dead Horse. But I I mean, I feel you kind of arrived in Dead Horse at the same time as um. So. Oh, yeah, yes. Uh. Right, you just reach this like square building. Uh, it's like the, the tallest building, but not by much. Uh, that says the capital city of the Northern Tribal Coalition. And Lieutenant Chin has just stepped out of the sled and basically asked you if you are coming with them inside the building. Nah. <laughs> You're just gonna stay out here? Uh, well, what? Um, I think I'll go look for the nearest brothel. <laughs> This we robot. gotta get that robot. <laughs> Ant is like, I think I'll do that too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Uh, robot brothel. Uh, do we have anything to do with uh, the coalition? Like, what? What? What's our mission What's again, the... guys? <laughs> we were supposed to make contact with them, right? Getting some supplies oh, okay, for our cool. new camp. Just like go around and just like ask for those, or do we need to get permission, or... What are we asking for? <laughs> for supplies? Just like... Aren't we trying to get supplies for our new camp? I think it was to make contact. I guess supplies is also a thing. At some point in time, yeah. I probably should have re-listened to the older episodes about... Yeah, at some point, I think we all should have. <laughs> but... That would have been good. I hate hearing the sound of my own voice, so no. And there's like yeah. 13 of them. <laughs> I mean, you would only would have had to listen to like episode 5 on. Yeah, I guess. Well, uh, we're gonna go in. If you're coming with us, then feel free to. We need to talk to, uh... We need to talk to Hensley anyway. Who's that? Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Uh... Yeah, so he's basically in charge around here. Actually, Jordy Hensley, um, before you guys go inside, you may want to cover up those ARM computers you got. Oh. He's not a big fan of that kind of techie stuff. Isn't, like, the pit boy like, the size of a watermelon? Does that mean he hates me? It's pretty big, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but you guys are also, like, keep in mind, you guys are also wearing these bulky-ass coats. Oh, I guess. Uh, question. Uh, by doesn't like technology, this type of te- are you saying, like, uh, are you saying, are you saying, uh, are you saying he, like, is an old-fashioned kids these day kind of dudes, or does He's he a boomer. He makes boomer comics about beating his wife. But, but really, though, does, does he- does he just hate new technology and is just old fashioned, or are we talking hates vault dwellers and would probably just kick us out? I don't think he's gonna have any issues with you as people, but he he has some views on technology. He's kind of been he's kind of always been at odds with the Brotherhood of Steel down south. He doesn't like them because of all their techie but stuff. But he doesn't like indoor plumbing either. Okay, so he's just so he's just a boomer. Okay, so he's just a boomer. <laughs> but okay, so so he's just old and, and cranky about it. Okay. Yeah, he's old and cranky. Well, he's not old. He's actually like in his thirties, I think. But... Okay, I'm gonna take you guys didn't hear my comment about him being a boomer who makes comics about beating his wife. Yeah, no, I heard it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we all heard it. We all heard it. It just um. You know the thing? It's it's funny. Um I actually forgot to laugh. Oh. When I heard that joke. Ten out of ten. <laughs> Tee. Okay, there I got my laugh in. Uh <laughs> 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 So yeah, Chin, uh Lieutenant Chin's like Right. So yeah, Jordy Hensley, he's basically the prime electorate here, that's what we call him. He's kind of in charge. I don't know. Uh that said, he can't get a lot of his, like, anti-tech laws through, so, like, outside of Capitol Building, you should be fine. Just, like, he doesn't like it. Everyone else is more or less okay with it, but he's not a fan. And, uh, I think with that, Lieutenant Chin goes inside. Okay. Well, I don't know what to do at this point. 
Uh, I mean, I guess, do we just go talk to him and just, like, make contact and figure out the lay of the land, I guess? Uh, fuck if I know, man. Do we make contact with the Overseer, maybe? Yeah, that, that might be a good idea. We might want to do it away from the crazy you no know, technology dude. You know. Well, I mean, the way... The way the lieutenant led on made me think that maybe we should be alright if we just, like, kind of stick to our own devices and do it on our own, I guess. I guess. So, no asking random people to talk into the mic or anything, you know. Something that we didn't want to do anyway. Hey, Jerry. <laughs> Come talk into my arm radio. Yeah, we should we should put. Uh, yeah, I I gotta admit I'm I'm stumped. I I don't know what to do. I'm I'm not like a Let's leader or anything. Overseer. I'm gonna phone the overseer. <laughs> yeah. On my Pip Boy sixty nine hundred. You're doing it. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be a science roll then. Oh. Um. Alexa, and... roll a D100. <laughs> Jimmy! Fuck. No, I'm not gonna- I'm, get? No, I'm getting my dice out. I just couldn't find my dice. <laughs> well, it's nice to know that I can do that if I am ever too lazy to roll dice. Wait, what did Alexa give you? 15. <laughs> 50 or 15? 15. 15. Oh, yeah. As in the uh... age of one who is typically in- High school, yeah. Late, middle, early-ish high? No, no one is 15 in no. middle, middle school. Mid high school. <laughs> uh, I mean, what if you're just one of those bad boys that get hold back? Where the fuck? Oh, that's right there. Of course, one of those bad boys. One of those bad boys that gets hold back for beating the shit out of the, the kid. See, if, that if doesn't we... normally get you held back if you beat the shit out of someone. That tends to get you, like, expelled. <laughs> Yeah, Not held okay. back. You get expelled, I mean, and then when you, you come back... you get suspended, and then, like, held back afterwards. Yeah. See, if, if if we were updated to the new edition, it's that would have passed. It's correlation. It's correlation, uh, not causation. Just what's, saying. uh... You said science? Uh, 46. 46. So, no. Uh... <laughs> you, you, like... <laughs> you, like, try to fiddle with... Uh with your pit boy radio and you just end up pulling up the map and like zooming in and zooming back out over and over mm. <laughs> congrats papa skip you're a fucking idiot <laughs> congrats on the new achievement that you've just unlocked this is a new development well unless the overseer is named map my pit boy is broken <laughs> it's not I, broken I... papa scuff I don't think it's broken. I just, I just think that you just don't look, know look, what you're look. doing. All right, and look, okay. Why look, don't Mandy, you do Mandy it? like pops over there, and she just like points to the radio button. It's like very clearly written in there, and it's like, look, you see the button that says radio directly on the screen. Mandy, if I didn't hold such guilt about stabbing your father, you'd be next. Oh my god! I'm gonna call the overseer now. <laughs> Okay. Oh wait, no, 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 that's that's Discord. Skype, isn't it? Oh, I gotta. I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna call Gavin on. No, not now, obviously, but I'm gonna call Gavin or somebody on Skype randomly, and they're gonna be like, how the fuck did you call me? How do I have Skype? Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking, like, a bunch of dial-up noises come from the point. <laughs> <laughs> and there's just a bunch of ridiculous sound effects. Like, <laughs> It's that fucking. It pops up a TikTok video of that like dude doing like the really stupid like movements to the like Scooby Doo like sounds. 
<laughs> just like a bunch of cartoon sound effects start playing. Boing. <laughs> yeah. How's it going over there? Uh, you guys reach Dead Horse? So, problem. There's people here. It's inhabited, so I don't know about them supplies, you know. Well, what what's yeah. what's your ideal directive on uh, this no, we, approaching the situation? We knew they were. I told you to make contact with the people at Dead Horse. That was your job. Oh well. Um. Job completed. We're well, here. I mean... I'm sorry, we forgot the job. It's kind of the whole. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of the whole. We we kind of nearly died like at least three times. I got kidnapped by a bear. <laughs> And then almost killed by another bear with hands. They had bear I hands. think I might have been kidnapped at one point. I don't remember. No, and I don't the, think you were. And I got kidnapped. We could, we confirmed it had bear hands. We confirmed it. did it. have bear hands. It did. That's canon. Yeah, yeah bear oh, hands. Oh, well, yeah. Well, I mean, we knew this place was going to be rough. Basically... What I need you to do is kind of make contact with whoever is char in charge. See if you can figure out any sort of, like, food situation. But Any sort of, like, food aid or whatever. Well, the guy in charge is a boomer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... Like, like does he Jimmy, blow up or something? I don't something? think I don't know. boomer is a word in this And gym. not the explosive kind, if you catch my drift. Right. Don't. I know we all played them hollow tapes. What are you talking about? You know them uh hollow tapes. <laughs> no, I was trying to you think of a stupid yourself? name for Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> oh god. Um cuz you, you know the boomers and the uh on the airstrip. Or did you not play Wasteland Vegas, Vegas renewed? <laughs> <laughs> This sounds like a holiday. A holiday? No, a holotape. The a holotape. like the, like the game ones, you know, like Red Menace. <laughs> um, that's like the only one I remember because that's the only one I played. Are there other ones in Fallout? I don't know. Whatever. I I don't know. Okay, whatever. Can you can you figure out any sort of like food aid from the people there? Uh, we can go talk to the, uh, leader person, but I can't guarantee... Okay, okay, I... uh, okay, okay, Papa Scuff? Yeah? You're not allowed to talk to any diplomatic figure. <laughs> well, alright, overseer, I guess I can't talk to you anymore. I'm gonna hang up. <laughs> oh my god! It's a radio, you don't hang up. You just... You I turn it off? You fucking smartass. <laughs> You just, like, switch the frequency, and you're talking. Uh, hello? Oh, Johnny, is you... this you? Oh, who is this? Oh, no, I think I got the wrong number, and I'm gonna twiddle it some more. I'm in the middle of looking for my magazines. Oh, my God. You know, the good ones. That was the most... <laughs> the oh ones that raise your intelligence, because, buddy, you are needing them. <laughs> yeah, it's like Mechanics Monthly, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just guy. kidding, I'm looking for porn. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but, uh, yeah. You just turn the radio off. Yeah. <laughs> Never gonna talk to that guy again. <laughs> well, I mean... I guess, yeah, I guess we just go talk to the guy. What about you two? What do you two think as you are ones of the party as well? I mean, Howard starts, he's like, I mean, yeah, we go talk to the guy and then we should probably stick around town for like a day or two and see what else helpful we can find, you know? If you catch my drift, Scuff. <laughs> And then and then he like he like mouths the word drugs to you. Oh yeah, I agree, my brother. <laughs> I'm sorry, I completely <laughs> blanked out for the last like few minutes. Yeah, I uh, 
disfigured with the deafening silence of nobody <laughs> discussing anything. So, fucking hell, okay. Yeah, go talk to the guy, is what I'm saying. <laughs> well, Jesus right. Christ, go in the building. Like, burst into the I building! Don't know, it sounds like he hates robots. Let's not go in the building, just to annoy Lily. <laughs> Please? Um, okay, I'm yeah, let's go in the building. Gonna go burst into <laughs> okay. the building. What up, fuckers? If you're not gonna go to the building, at least fucking do something. <laughs> like, hell. <laughs> I mean, there's all sorts of stuff in town. There's a general store, there's a radio station, there's a fucking farm. You could go to all these places, and you're sitting here in the fucking Capitol building parking lot. A farm, you say? A farm? Yeah, you fucking saw it on the way into town. God, I forgot because I have the memory span of a fucking goldfish. But wow, a That's farm? That's my thing! <laughs> anyway, go, go to the fucking... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to the thing. I'm going to the... I'm yeah. in the building. Ah, yes, door open. Wait, I'm wait. here. <laughs> the inside of the building's pretty nice looking. All things considered, there are some plants. Like potted plants. On the other side of a front desk. With a... Uh, with a sort of middle-aged lady with her hair up in a bun and some glasses, uh, just writing something down I want to go look at the on plants. some paper. Well, what, what are you gonna do to the with the plant? You're just gonna look at yeah, it? Yeah, I'm just gonna look at them. I wanna look at the plants. Uh, out. well, I think it, I don't know. What kind of plants would there be in Alaska? Fucking... Maybe it's like a little tree. Like a tiny little baby little tree. tree. Hey, Aunt, I got a proposition for you. Why don't you go what? over, because I know you like your plants oh, and your what? animals and stuff. Why don't you go over to the farming area, talk, find whoever's, like, running it there, and see if you're able to secure some food for the, uh, camp. Did Papa's Cup just have a good idea? <laughs> 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 well, what? I mean, it's a good idea, but I just don't like the idea of taking absolutely any orders from you. Well, wait, actually, as much as I hate to admit it, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, it's yeah. a good idea, but, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna do and, it, but I'm gonna say I'm not doing it because you told me to. You could probably take Marcus for as for, so there could ab adventure. Yeah, I'll go with her. <gasps> adventure. Go on a journey. Get some character development out of Marcus. I guess Howard, I guess Howard and I will stay here and keep Papa Scuff in check. And Howard kind of laughs and he's like, all right, yeah. I keep gonna keep scuff from being scuff. I'm gonna hand Aunt a paper clip and and uh, tell her not to spend it all in one place. Where did you get a paper clip? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have it listed down here. I'm sure the vault has paper clips. Oh no, I don't. I I don't. Or wait, huh? Were we were we using paper clips or bobby pins? I think they're bobby pins. Cause, cause we did have paper clips, can, and that's what I used that one time to like break into that one room. You can have a paper clip. You can have a paper clip if you want. <laughs> All right, I t I, I received just... that 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 uh, little little action there of giving Aunt the paper clip. You could say you could say you bought like just randomly had a paper clip in your pocket. Or you just stole it from the secretary, like mine now. Don't spend. Yeah, 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 yeah. There could be paper clips on the table. Okay, okay, I have to I have to say this because it's, it's on my mind now. Have you guys uh, seen that one? Ooh, sorry, I saw a cool cape, but anyway. Uh, have you guys seen that one uh, animated show from, like, Worthy Kids, uh, Big Top Burger? No. No, I have no idea what you're talking you about. You guys haven't fucking seen it? Oh, I gotta send that to you guys because fucking Steve is goddamn Papa Scuff incarnate. Just fucking <laughs> absolute chaos in the form of a man wearing clown makeup. That sounds like Papa Scuff to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I guess I guess we split the party here. Wait, right? is as you guys like leave the door? I guess. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Alright, um This is gonna be a really unbalanced Actually can we like I wanna hear this. Is there a possibility that when we do like Papa Scuff's thing? That, like, I could just mute my mic and not record and just listen to this chaos. If you want, yeah. I want to hear Or, this. you know what we could do is we could just, like, not have you split up yet. Yeah. <laughs> you know, why, why don't we actually all stick together? 
That... And then you can split up afterwards, because I feel like this is like important enough for everyone to, yeah. to be here. We should, we should, Papa Scuff. I have a better idea. But How about we could do that afterwards? Why are you trying to undermine my one moment of intelligence? Critical success. No, no, you had a, yes. you had a good idea. Yeah, but... fuck that. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> you had a good idea, but I just, I just think that maybe a better, a better idea is we all, we all talk to this weird dude together, and then, and then you, you and, uh, you, you and uh, Howard Todd go and do, you know, you guys, maybe you guys go to the general store for food and stuff. Oh god, that's a bad idea, he's gonna rob the general store. I, I wasn't thinking of it, but now that you mentioned it... Oh god. <laughs> well, you've said, well, that's set in stone now, so, um... But here, well, you guys could go to, like, the store, or, or, or a library to find ways to get food, like, like books that can tell you how to get food, or, or actual food from the general store. Or I could store. just talk to the people instead of reading a book. <laughs> You can, you can learn all sorts of things from books. All right, I'm fine with this idea. Of... The lady, the lady behind the counter, the hey, the lady behind the desk is like, "Are you all going to do something? Or are you just going to sit here?" Uh, in my yes, lobby? we'd like all to talk to your leader. Thank you very much. All right. Uh... Yeah, Papa Scuff, don't be rude. All right, I guess I'll go. Uh, let Hensley know. You don't want to talk to him. Oh, where... oh shit! We gotta, guys. We gotta cover up our pit, bo our our point boys, our point boys, our pit boy. What are you talking about? Our 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 things, you know, guys. We gotta we we gotta cover up our, our our bad boy machines. Before, cover up before Boomer Man. I just realized I'm like I'm like donned in like essentially uh just raider like the the, the yeah. raider like outfit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're still wearing like yeah. Pelts I'm just and gonna shit. like kind of like keep my arm like it, like on my like kind of tucked into like the one with the pit boy. Gonna, like you gotta keep it tucked in under my clothes. No, I... guys. On a scale of one to ten, how likely I... do you think we're gonna get killed? I mean, I think I think you can take it off. Also, like I, I guess it's not like glued to your arm. You I can take, it, take off. it off and store it in my asshole. How are we carrying all this stuff? All right, don't worry that's... about it. Uh... I got a backpack. Oh, oh well, I shove it in my backpack. Yeah, you guys have like I think you guys have backpacks. What should I do? You could shove you your have a pit, pit boy oh. in your backpack. Oh wait, you're well, a robot. Marcus doesn't have a pit boy. Yeah, he's a fucking but... robot, and then I'm a dumbass. All right, boy, open up my backpack. Get in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how does? How does how does um H Hensley feel about robots? Look, he's not gonna prosecute you or anything. Well, we don't want to make him uncomfortable. <laughs> we don't want to. If, if we're coming here looking for something, we shouldn't we shouldn't go out of our way to make him feel bad. Anti-robot apologist. <laughs> like if we're here looking for food, we should be considerate and hide our. A robot. Okay, that sounds way worse when I say it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> Got to make the anti-robot man comfortable with his own existence. We can't. Yeah. Okay. Fuck Yikes. it. We're not. We're not putting away our friend. But we are saying. But we are gonna be nice enough to put away our pit boy, so he doesn't make a snide boomer comment at us. <laughs> Uh, does the, uh... I don't- you keep using that word, boomer. I don't know what it means. <laughs> it's a- it's- it's vault- it's, it's a- vault lingo. It's, it's a vault inside joke. <laughs> it's vault yeah, lingo. Yeah, it's, it's, it's vault- it's vault lingo. I don't know what lingo means either. <laughs> uh, that's- it's like slang for, a uh, for... What the fuck's a slang? <laughs> like a slang? Like the thing that you flail around, a slang? No, no, that's a sling, uh... Slang is a. That's a slang. It's words that. Okay, let me look up the definition of slang because I can't properly. Okay. Uh, no, a slang is a type of language that consists of words and phrases that are regarded as very informal, but are more common in speech than writing, and are typically restricted okay. to a particular context. You know or what? Group of you know people. what? I forget I asked. It doesn't matter. I'll go let him know. You'll hear Sam. And she, like uncomfortably walks back <laughs> she's like i'll just okay and she's like rubbing her face like why are these people like this 
<laughs> vault tech be like <laughs> vault tech here are you prepared for total nuclear annihilation good news he's open uh I'll just follow me back here, and she kind of opens a door and like puts her arm out to show you in. Hey, thank you. The hallway behind the door is a little bit cramped. Uh, you can see some of like the wallpaper chipping slowly off the walls, uh, but they have done their best to try and cover it up with paint. Um, is it lead paint? She... It's yeah. Oh There's yeah, a that ton makes... of lead. Uh, aspartame? Is that the one? Okay, Papa Scott. Uh, I don't Papa Scott, eat paint don't chips. Don't eat the paint chips. <laughs> yeah, don't eat the paint chips. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, paint chips are a good way to get high, if you ask Gotta me. Gotta make sure our resident dumbass knows. I mean, you don't eat them, you snort them. Ah! <laughs> no, you can't do that either. It's a good way to get high. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, and she leads you, the hallway turns like once or twice, and then there's like a big double door. Like two wooden doors. They're kind of like fancy looking for indoor doors. Inside doors. Indoor uh, doors. With like, they have like those windows that you can't see through. <laughs> you know those ones? Uh, like with the, where the glass is like The one-sided almost. type of, or tinted window? They're tinted, so you can't see. They're not tinted, but they're like, you know the one ones sided? that are like. They're not one side. You, you can't see through them from other, either side. But they're, like, frosted, you know? Oh, frosted, yeah. Um, and they're, like, pretty ornately carved. Uh, she opens the door. And inside, you see a man of reasonable stature. Uh, okay, wearing... ex explain reasonable stature. He's a man look, who is not short nor tall. Look reasonable. Uh, medium-sized man. That's, Yes. <laughs> Media man in the house. I didn't realize that would need elaborating upon. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just didn't know what a reasonable size stature was. Which, by the way, media man can mean anywhere from five foot to five foot eleven. So that really also doesn't. <laughs> I'm sorry for me. No, five foot is short. Yeah, it is. You're right. Below, below like five six is short. So I think. anywhere from five foot like one to five foot eleven. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, he's wearing. Sort of like a suit, honestly. Not not like one of the ones you would have seen of books, but like, you know, it has like a tie. Is it a bolo like... tie? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and he, he's like, he's like kind of balding, but not entirely. He still has like the side burns or whatever. Not side burns, but like he still has like the, you know how like when you're balding, you get like a U shape on your head? Mm -hmm. He has that. Ah. Uh. A you brain. A you brain. And he looks up from a piece of paper and scowls at Marcus and then says, Well, who do we have here? Hi. Hello. Uh, hi. We're, we're settled. We're settled. We're from, we're from a vault nearby. We recently left the vault. Uh, I still don't know why we left the vault, but we did. And uh, we, we need help because we, we you know, vault, vault dwellers... We aren't very prepared for uh, a, a you know a nuclear a nuclear wasteland, so we came here to ask for help and possibly provide something in return because that's that's good you know I I learned that uh, it's good to trade goods and services for other goods and services. But yeah, can you help us, please? <laughs> I might be able to help you if you can help. Okay, please tell me that it, it doesn't involve. Attacking your enemies, because we're actually really bad at fighting as it comes to- Well, if you look at my head, I killed a polar bear. <laughs> you- you didn't kill shit, Papa Scuff. You didn't- you didn't kill shit. Was I the, not the one that killed the polar bear? Did, were you the one that actually <laughs> killed the polar bear? I think that was me. Yeah, you didn't kill shit on your own. Yeah, no, yes. Papa, you killed it. I even killed the wolves at the beginning of the game. Oh, shit. Yeah. You know the ones that I ate the heart of? I feel like you've done most of the killing. Papa Scuff has done most of the killing, I think, so far. Okay, Papa Scuff may have killed shit, but, uh, but the rest of us really haven't, so... No, no, uh, nothing like that. Yeah. At least I hope. Okay, I'm glad, because I heard you had, like, rivals or enemies or something, and, like, we... <laughs> We really don't know anything about that, and we don't want to be caught up in, like, some, like, big war that we don't know about. You know, we, we've really been stuck it's... in, like, 
a big safe for the past mm -hmm. ever. So, you know, we kind of would like to not be, you know, we, you know, I've read stories, uh, you know, storybooks. So one of my favorite books, uh, 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 Larry Smarter, uh, yeah, no, wait, no, I'm not referencing Harry it. Potter. Fuck J.K. Rowling. Um, we already did. Uh, we already did a parody of that. I think. Oh, yeah. uh, Lord of the Beans. Barry Trotter was uh, what we Lord did. of the Beans. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the Lord of the Beans. Um, a lot of uh, it, it was a common uh, trope in Lord of the Beans that very uh, ignorant or not well knowing people were like taken advantage, put in places that they basically. It's like I don't want to be used as a weapon, and I don't want to like against something I don't know about. You know, like, because I don't want to be basically put on, like, the wrong side where, like, I'm not saying you're evil or, like, you're wrong or anything, but, you know, that type of caution where it's like, <clears> I don't want to be, I don't want to be used as somebody's tool to do something horrible, <clears> so, like, I'm making it clear now, if you need us to do, like, a gang war thing. He's not paying attention. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but if you need us to do, like, a gang war thing, we're, we're not, we're not into that. Right. Anyway, uh... I, I got something I need you to deliver to a friend. Uh, is it gang war related? Not or? everything has to do with gang not, wars, and not precise. Well, I want to be. I I just had this whole monologue, and I'm not sure if he was listening. Okay, so can I... you just listen for one second? We should let the man speak, ma'am. I am not a fan of the way you run your mouth off. All right. Well. I'm sorry, I just... <laughs> Teenagers be like that, you know? I don't be like that, says Mandy. Well, you're right, you're, you're, not... <laughs> okay, yeah, well, you're right, but maybe I'm just a mouthy person. Don't, don't tell me what to do, please. It's just, like, really self-conscious now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, am I... <laughs> and... Um... Now Ant has to suffer with self-consciousness uh, with her PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, He's like, I feel bad about myself. <laughs> I need you to deliver something to my friend down south in Living Good. It's a small little outpost. Uh, and while you're there, since it's kind of down there, I have a bit of a suspicion about the people down there. It's a Brotherhood of Steel outpost down there, and I... Oh, 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 yeah, okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, right after my whole monologue about not wanting Anyway, to like I was saying, uh... <laughs> Can you join the Brotherhood? It just, I'm not asking you to kill anyone, alright? I just want you to make sure they aren't up to anything, basically. Because uh, they're getting a little too close for comfort here. And I think they're interested in territory, if you know what I mean. Now, if you do that for me, then I will talk to Jansen down at the farm and see if I can get anything organized for food shipments to your little camp. Are you guys from Barrow? Uh, are we? Yeah, because you guys, the vault was underneath Barrow as... Although in real life it's called Utkiagvik, uh since twenty sixteen I think. But um This did take place like yeah, way before It's it's a native name. So it's like in real life it's called Utkiagvik, but I just don't feel like they would have renamed it in the Fallout timeline. I don't know. Especially because like doesn't it take place like literally in the fifties and sixties? Yeah, it's 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 just like this weird <laughs> Fallout is just like this weird ambivalous I don't know what that word means. Uh, extension of the 50s and 60s that lasts for like 200 years and it makes no sense. <laughs> Fallout is literally just the idolization of a of pit, white picket fences. And... Oh no, it's a complete mockery of it. Uh, oh yeah, good, good. Because... That's the whole point, is that it's dumb, but... I always see a lot of people actually using it as like a big like, oh, the 50s were so good when, you know, the whole series really is just saying, man, that shit was horrible. <laughs> the whole point is that the continuation of like the 50s and 60s is what led to a nuclear apocalypse. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> You'd be surprised about the dumb shit people think about very clear like dismissals of like that type of stuff. Yeah. 
yeah. Anyway, um, and in fact, you might even want to go talk to him down at the farm. No, and see not... if there's anything else he can offer you. Yeah, we were actually planning to. I want to go see a farm, because I've never seen one before. Sounds good. And he hands you, before you guys leave, he reaches under his desk and hands you a brown box, just a medium package. Uh, maybe about less than like a square foot, you know? So what's in the package? But not... Huh? What's in the package? I'm now suspicious. I don't know. I, I actually don't know. Okay, for a second, I was about to be like, I'm going to open it up. I'm like, no, that's... I don't want to ruin our chances of getting food, so. But just let it be known, Ant is very much, very suspicious about what's going on here and is not cool with the goddamn Brotherhood of Steel shit after her whole ass monologue. You may need to be careful on your way down to living good. I'm sure you didn't have much trouble getting here in terms of people, but here on out, the highway down does have some folks looking to, uh cause trouble oh no we have, we know people will cause trouble i got kidnapped like a, a like a few hours ago oh yeah um, i i know that was not a few, that was like days ago oh, it was date like maybe really the timeline did not make it seem like we were on the sled to the barricade for days you were okay well, i got kidnapped like a few days ago yeah i know someone who's like i know someone who loves to cause trouble as mandy looks at papa scuff He's, it's like his favorite pastime. Look, you stab someone's dad <laughs> once, and all of a sudden you're known as the father stabber. <laughs> yeah, you probably should be known as the father stabber, Papa Scuff. You also ate a wolf's heart. I'm just trying to assert my dominance. You decapitated a bear. I mean, <laughs> you do give us druggies a bad rap, Well, stuff. who wants... T- <laughs> okay, you guys kind of... <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Now wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, shit, are drugs illegal here? And he, like, turns and looks to <laughs> Hensley, <laughs> who's like, uh, I will pretend I didn't hear that. You better make sure that package doesn't get damaged, by the can, way. Can we open it? No. Okay. How is this anyway? package sealed, by the way? Um. Like, is there any easy way to reseal it in case it does get I opened? I think tape. I think it's, like, that clear tape. Mm-hmm, packing tape of the bitch of all sneakiness. Yeah, the kind that's just gonna rip off the cardboard. Yeah, and then it won't stick again, and everybody will know that you opened the package and snooped even though you were told not to. <laughs> yeah. Smart. But inconvenient for <laughs> Well, I think that's about it. Get gone. And he turns back to his desk, whatever he was working on before. Okay. Bye, see you. And Ant's gonna turn and leave. She's plotting. Mandy rushes out after you, and she's like, Okay, Ant, I know something's up. What are you doing? I don't trust this guy. I don't trust this box. Do I hear this conversation? Uh, do you leave the room? I guess. I'm just assuming I'm then following yes. up. Oh no, I'm scared. Alright, I got a proposition for hmm. you guys. Why do you always have propositions, Scott? Now, this one isn't as dumb or idiotic as my normal ones, I would think, at least. But, how about we go have a talk with these Brotherhood of Steel folk? Get their side of the story. Okay. Not a bad plan on paper. That's true, um, actually. They may... Well, we don't know what they have, too. They may be able to help us more than these guys can. No, I just I I'm really scared about interacting with like groups and stuff because he's this entire town, or at least the leader of this entire town, has some very bad beef with uh with the Brotherhood of Steel. And the problem with that is uh, the problem with that whole idea you just said is even though on paper amazing idea, uh, I feel like in practice we're gonna end up uh dead in the ditch because we got involved with gang wars that we didn't know much about. And I personally, as much as I'd like to stick my nose out of it, I think we technically got involved by coming here in the first place. So I don't know what to do. All I want to know is what's in the stupid package because, well, it's really suspicious. Like, what if this is, like, a big weapon or, like, a bomb or, like, the cure for the cure for, like, influenza, you know? Like... Well, think of it this way. If we sad with the Brotherhood of Steel... 
uh, what's what's the point of delivering the package? We can open it up for ourselves. Yeah, but what is the Brotherhood of Steel? Like, <laughs> a, when you have a name like the Brotherhood of Steel, I don't know what that is. I don't know what they it do. Sounds like a cult. But that sounds really evil. I'm sorry, but if you have the Brotherhood of blank in your name, that sounds really evil. That sounds just really evil. And I know, I know that they could be really nice people. They could like donate to. They could like help everyone around them. But like, they, they, that's a really bad like. That's a really bad PR move to have like. <laughs> in character, do we know of the Brotherhood of PR. Steel? In character, Ant probably does not. God, because what, what was that, Papa Scar? No, no, it, what was that? sorry. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, like, like player to DM. Do, do our characters know of the Brotherhood of Steel? No, this is the first you've heard of them. Oh, damn. Because, like, every fiber of my being wants to join the Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> what are they? What uh, are they? So, uh, so the Brotherhood of Steel is basically, like, the tech faction in most of the Fallout games. They're the ones that have, like, all the power armor and shit. So they're, they're a faction of people that are trying to, like, in, enforce some, like, for they're like trying to enforce like a government in a sense like like trying to reunite the wastelands ah uh, i hate them already like they're, they're it, depend- tra- it also okay, each, they're, 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 there are different branches of the brotherhood of steel um that are that they're kind of split off from each other uh so each one's kind of different depending on the game you're playing okay but for the most part like the the, the same general thing throughout the games is they're like trying to reunite the wasteland okay in this case, uh, they are um, the remnants of the military from Anchorage. Mm. Uh, okay, this is like my, like, of course, my personal, like, my alarms are going off. Though in universe, that wouldn't sound half bad to Ant. Sounds like a very slippery slope to me. Sound like cops to me. I, I love them. I, I join them any chance that I get. You know that flag in a. Oh, what, what, what's his name? Um, Who was the esports, like cool teacher oh um in... mr Clark. yeah Clark. so above his desk that big old sign that looked like it was like or like the big old flag that had like gears on it that was that's the brotherhood of steel flag that's how like popular it is okay i love them <laughs> so they're not like bad but even though i personally not as a character but they're not me inherently i personally evil. see this as like a big slippery soap like hmm i know a lot of media that has uniting people as a as like hmm. The other thing is that, um, depending on which branch of the Brotherhood of Steel, they can be kind of more of, like, a small familial-type government, you know? Okay, so some of it is more, like... Like, they have elders. Okay, so some of it is more, like, more, like, small and comfortable. Okay, uh, the second, though, um, I'm guessing, is there, like, an evil branch that wants to unite, like, everybody by force, or is there, like... Um... I don't know if they're explicitly evil. I mean, there's really no... Okay, there are some explicitly evil factions in the Fallout games. Mm -hmm. Like, I would say Caesar's Legion is pretty explicitly evil. Um, Some of the slavers are pretty explicitly evil. But a lot of the factions are morally gray. That makes sense. In terms, like, they're... They all have good and bad. Yeah, so the Brotherhood really depends on who you ask. It depends on who you ask and who you are. Yeah, yeah. who you ask, who you are. Anyway, so this dude, you either... don't know any of this in universe. <laughs> You've ju- only just heard of. As it. a discussion between players, so this dude, this leader dude, uh, who I was immediately suspicious of because he's wearing a bolo tie, despite how excited I was to hear a bolo tie representation <laughs> <laughs> that you instigated. I know Doug Dimadone, owner of the Dinsdale Dimadone. This guy gives me vibes, <laughs> but uh, so this dude is against. Um, a possibly good, possibly very bad section of a He's... faction wanting to unite everyone. So we're really gonna have to actually talk to them if we. Yeah, I think you guys would have to probably talk to them to get a full picture. Yeah, because like if he's hating them just for technology, then like then we could just call him stupid, do his chore, and then explain to him like, "Hey, you're being close-minded." But if he has some ulterior motive against uniting the town with other people, if the Brotherhood is good, because we might get a bad boy. Uh, we might get some bad boys who want I mean, to take it by force, like... I just want power armor, man. <laughs> if we get some, like, good boys, then, like... 
I'm going to be very glad that I immediately made Ant suspicious of this guy for ignoring her whole speech about no gang-based <laughs> stuff. And then immediately he was like, do this faction-based mission. Like, um. <laughs> <laughs> for food. For food. I know it's for food, but like Ant is definitely like, um. There's a reason I don't want to get involved with factions yet. Because. You don't know them. Like, that's how, that's how, like, that's how, like. That's how plot happens in these games, and I yeah, don't like it. that's how plot happens, but, like, you don't want to pull, like, a person <laughs> no, being it. put on, like, the bad side, not knowing better. Because that's always a shitty situation to be in, and I don't want Ant doing bad, evil stuff without her knowledge. She needs to do bad, evil stuff by her own choice, knowing it's bad, <laughs> she evil. She needs to do bad, evil stuff of her own volition. Yes, yeah, she shouldn't be made a tool to be used for bad and evil purposes. She should just do bad and evil things if so, if she so desires. Like Papa Scott. And being a very good gal, besides the fact that she's going to open this package and break um, break a federal <laughs> law that no longer not exists this episode, in this not universe. this episode. Uh, <laughs> at least, at least, wait. <laughs> For me to figure out what the fuck's inside that thing. Yeah. Aunt wanting to break a federal law is probably the most evil thing I can name at this moment that she's done. But even then, the government doesn't exist in Fallout like it did. So this isn't a federal law we're even breaking. This is just being snoopy and rude. Um, so Mandy's like, I don't I don't think you should open the box anyway. I, I don't not... think it's a good idea to get on anyone's bad side. It isn't, but... Do we really want to potentially become a a puppet for this evil guy's schemes? Do we want to transport something I... bad? Because I I want to know what we're what we're trans. I'm. Look, the way I see it, Howard Butson, he's like, the way I see it, we deliver this one package, we get food, we're done. But right? We don't it's... need to. What if it's a bad thing? What if we did? It's something... None of our business. I mean, honestly, I don't. Look, if it's a bad thing, that's on him, not us. But we delivered it. Doesn't that make us bad, too? We're just trying to survive. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I... Uh... You gotta think about number one first, you know? I, I guess. Well, I just... since it's on the way, I feel we should go and have a chat with these Brotherhood of Steel. Who knows? Maybe they might be able to offer us more for the camp than these guys. Well... Okay, but... I, I just don't want to potentially make things, like, really, really bad by, like, getting involved with, like, like, factions and gangs and stuff, because... Well, worst case scenario, we could just dip. We don't have to, we don't have to join yeah. them or anything. It's just, I feel we should get there. what if they're mean? What if they tell us we have to join? Well... I don't want to fight our way out. I don't like fighting our way out. That sucked, especially with the bear. I hated the bear. I don't want to go through the bear again. And and I'm sure it'll be fine, all right? It's probably just like a book or something. Like, okay. this guy doesn't seem as bad as I think you believe him to be. Well, he ignored my whole talk about factions, so that... It rubbed me the wrong way. Even if he's not a bad guy, that just... It wasn't a nice thing to do. I guess you're right. I don't know. I, I just think... I think we should just do it and get it over with, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, let's go, I guess let's go check out that farm, and then, I guess, Scuff and Howard, you guys can go to the general store? Yeah! We can see the goo grow on trees. <laughs> I, re I, I remembered. The goo. Aunt doesn't entirely know what the fuck a fruit is, so. <laughs> she yeah, wants yeah. to see that gray goo grow on trees, baby! Oh, what was Tim's? Huh? Uh... It's like a food and fallout. Tim's. Right? Am I... Am I dumb? I have seven Tim's, and I don't know what the fuck those are. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Oh, and you know what? You know what? And, and you guys, we also needed to get a sled for ourselves. Yeah, we, we have a lot to do. I wonder if we can figure something like that out at the general store, then. And then she looks at you, Papa Scuff and Howard. It's like, I wonder if you guys can figure that out at the general store. I think let's go to the general store. Me and my good old pal. H Howard. T Todd Howard. Howard Todd. Howard Todd. Howard. Howard. You know my name, Scuff. Who the fuck is Todd Howard? That's such a dumb name. I know, yeah, right? Todd Howard. 
Yeah, what a dumb name, says Howard Todd. Yeah, Howard Todd sounds, sounds, it rolls off the tongue better, in my opinion. It is weird. It's so weird. Because after recording so many episodes of the show, I am, like, implicitly teaching myself to say Howard Todd instead of Todd Howard. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I'll be, sometimes I won't, like, I'll forget his name, like, I'll forget which order is his name, so I'll just avoid saying him. I'll, like, I'll avoid saying his name. I'll be like, yeah, the creator of Skyrim. Like, like, like the one of these things, of they'll Skyrim. meet him and be like, oh, it's, it, it's, it's Howard Todd. And he'll be like, the fuck is wrong with you? Do you think, do you think Todd Howard listens to this show? No. That'd be <laughs> he awesome. He definitely would not. But if he did, it, it's like, hey, dude, uh, here's my personal message uh, to, to Todd Howard. Not Howard Todd. If he's listening to this, uh, hey, Howard. hey, Todd Howard, if you're listening to this podcast, uh, first of all, thank you for your support and listening to us. Please donate five dollars on Patreon. Second of all, please, uh, please. stop releasing Skyrim. We like <laughs> it, okay? You don't have to release it to every. New- make a new game. They are make Skyrim too. And, uh, fi- finally, they're making two. <laughs> Well, make it and stop releasing Skyrim. Just focus on the new games. Fuck Skyrim. Well, they need money to make the oh, new games. Take, hey, hey, they Todd, have Todd, more than Todd, enough money. Todd, Shut Todd, the fuck up. Todd, 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 can you take out the microtransactions, please? Yeah, uh, Todd, an- another another big thing is uh, please hire better writers. Can you uh, get me a free game? subscription Cause... to Fallout first for my new Todd, copy Todd, of Todd, Fallout Todd, 76 Todd, I'm Todd, getting Todd, tomorrow? Todd, 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 I need Todd, to tell Todd, Todd Howard. Okay, Todd. Todd Howard, I'm very sorry that we decided that the only character worth getting porn about is your weird counterpart <laughs> in this weird Fallout-based game. Todd, 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 We're super Todd, sorry Todd, that Todd. Howard Todd is the only one Todd. we're accepting porn out. Todd, I'm really hungry. Can you stop by Subway on your way home and bring me a sandwich? Todd, <laughs> Toddy, Toddy boy, please let me have your children. Be glad that your counterpart has a very big schlong, as we confirmed. Almost as big as yours, of course. A big dick, uh, Howard Todd, as I like to call him. <laughs> this has been Fallout Survivors of the North. <laughs> big dick Howard Todd. <laughs> this has been Big Dick Power Hour. <laughs> Will be the biggest of dicks for your pleasure. <laughs> They said Alaska was so cold They said to live there you gotta be oh so bold They never knew just what we had till it was gone Alaska, where'd you go? Alaska, where'd you go? Alaska, where'd you go? Why'd you go away? Alaska, where'd you go? Alaska, where did you go? Alaska, where'd you go? Why'd you go away? Yeah. They said Alaska must be cold. They said to live there you must be oh so bold. They never knew. Just what we had till it was gone, all gone. Hello everyone, this is your overseer, Lily. As always, I want to thank you for listening to Fallout Survivors of the North. This has been the final episode of our second arc, Beat Him to Dead Horse. And I think it went okay. We'll talk more about this on our next episode, which will be surviving the podcast um if you want to support the show you can follow us on twitter at fallout sotn we're pretty close to getting to 200 followers on twitter which is exciting um and as a way to i guess encourage that our 200th follower is going to get a name is going to get to name a character not a name to name a name to name that's one two i don't know um But in addition, on Twitter, you will get various news updates on the show, such as recently we decided to move to an irregular schedule because our bi-weekly schedule wasn't really working. So we're just moving our show to an irregular schedule. 
uh, where we every episode will go up on a Friday, but it won't necessarily be every other Friday. It will just be the Friday that it is finished, or the Friday after it is finished, if it's finished on like a Wednesday or something. I don't know. Um, you can also tweet at us using hashtag Fallout SOTN, and you, again, may get to name a character or a location in the show. In addition, after this episode goes up, we have yet to record Surviving the Podcast for Beat Him to Dead Horse. We are taking questions for the episode of Surviving the Podcast. We don't have much. In fact, no one has given us anything to work with yet. We have stuff we can talk about, but if you have any questions you would like to ask or any comments or anything really you want to say about the show, tweet at us using hashtag FalloutSOTN. Uh, and we may include your questions in Surviving the Podcast. If you Again, if you want to help us with this show, you can give us a review on iTunes, Stitcher, or Podchaser, which I only recently learned about. Basically, it's just IMDB for podcasts. It's nice. Um, we actually have a Discord server now. Uh, and if you want to join this server, you can... Follow the link, https colon backslash backslash tinyurl.com slash fallout s-o-t-n d-i-s. That's short for Discord. Uh, again, that's tinyurl.com slash fallout s-o-t-n d-i-s. Um, and you can also find that link, I believe, probably in the show notes now um, and on Twitter. Uh, as always, before we go, I want to give a shout out to r slash vnv. This is the community responsible for the game we are playing, Vaults and Vertebrates. They put a lot of work into this game, and it really shows. I mean, they're updating it regularly, even if we're not using the most recent version. They do a lot of work for it, and it's really cool. That's about it for today. Uh, I'm used to ending this episode, or this little thing with saying, you know, the next episode will be on this date, but we're not doing that anymore. We're doing a regular schedule. So keep your eyes out, and you may see this episode come up in a few weeks. See you then.